Hey guys, just wanted to say before we check out this review, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. I'm announcing the winner for the Alltech speaker, plus there's a little hint for another giveaway in that announcement. What's up guys, thanks so much for tuning in to this week's review video. We're checking out the JBL J88Is which I like to call these bad boy the Jet Eyes, which I'll explain the reason why here in a little bit, but let's check these bad boys out. Okay, so the reason why I got these is I came across a really, really good deal actually right from the JBL site. They sent out a mailer, got them for about 30 bucks, just a little bit under, but you can actually pick these up for about the same price range on a couple different sites online, which I'll make sure that I throw a link down in that description below just for you guys in case you're interested in them for yourself. But when I got home from work, I ran straight upstairs, looked for the box, and of course I was super excited and boom, there they were on the inside. And of course the packaging from JBL always looks awesome. Let's just open it up and just see for ourselves. One box inside of another box and then boom, there you go. Hear the truth. Who you can't handle the truth. That joke there, that phrase is played out. Why did I just say that? All right, so taking a look at these, of course you can see that I got the orange, white, and silver ones. I just felt like, you know, these are gonna look really nice on my desktop with all my Mac products, and the orange is gonna be a nice little accent. In person, these things look really good. On the computer, they looked awesome. And in person, they look just as awesome. <laughs> taking a look at them right away, one thing that I'm gonna say immediately is that, you know what? They are kind of big. And the one thing that these kind of remind me of is with the colors and all, since they're so big, is I feel like I should be driving a fighter plane in Star Wars or something. Yeah? But they are made of this plastic, which feels a little bit on the cheap side, but again, keep in mind these are only $30 headphones, if not cheaper. Of course, they've got your adjustments here on the side, which is nice. Uh, it's got a nice padding up here, right underneath on the headband, and the padding is decently soft even for the ear cushions themselves. Now, one cool feature here, like we read in the box, they are marketing these to be used for DJing. Um, I guess you can kind of fold up the one side. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, put your hands up, put your hands up. Yeah, I'm clearly not a DJ. I guess that's kind of a cool little feature if you're looking for a decent, affordable set of headphones, if you're into that type of thing. Both of these do fold up, making them nice and compact, which one nice thing about these headphones, and even though they are very affordable and they're only about $30, it comes with a carrying pouch, which a lot of headphones that are even twice or three times as much don't even come with something like this. Right on the inside of the carrying pouch, I do like because there are these two pockets, which is nice because you can stuff some stuff in there, whatever you feel like carrying around, even the cable. Speaking of cable, let's check out the cable. So it's got that kind of spaghetti or whatever you want to call this, but it's tangle free, which is really, really nice. Uh, it's got your remote, which has got the pause and the play, the volume up and down, and a mic on the backside so you can take those phone calls if it need be. But the one thing that actually I really like about the cable is on the one end that goes into the bottom of the headphones here, actually locks right into place. As soon as you insert it, you twist it, boom, not going anywhere, even if you bite it. Now the most important thing here that we want to know is what's the sound quality like? Well. If you guys seen a lot of my other reviews on JBL products, you know that I absolutely am a sucker for the JBL sound. JBL is never heavy on the bass, but they have a nice equal EQ from your highs, mids to lows. I'm going to say that's pretty much what these have. Uh, when I was testing them out with a few different genres of music, even with doing some editing on the computer, the lows actually were a little bit more heavier than I anticipated them to be. But I can say this is these aren't that loud of a set of headphones until you turn them up all the way. But the nice thing is, is even when they're cranked all the way up at full capacity, they're not like crazy. They don't pierce your ears or anything like that. They actually still have a nice smooth tone. So it's pretty easy to listen to even when it's at full maxed out volume. So these are a decent set of cabled headphones if you're in the market for um, a pair to use for maybe your editing or just some casual listening. 
I don't know if personally I would recommend these things for the gym because again they are pretty stinking massive. I mean just one cup is like almost as big as my stinking head. Again I really like this color. They do come in two other colors of black and I believe a white, like an all white and gray. Um, but again, I picked these ones up because I love the orange accent on it. I love when things kind of stand out like that. They're kind of nice. But you can't beat the price on these bad boys. Again, I'm gonna make sure I throw a link for you guys down in the description and check these out for yourselves. I mean, not bad, not bad. So hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into this week's review video. Make sure you definitely hit that thumbs up if it was helpful or if you liked it. And make sure you subscribe for more tech, gadget, random item reviews on things you guys will definitely, definitely be interested in. And remember, before you buy it, let's review it. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Okay, guys. Now, I know I was taking forever to do this. And I'm finally getting around to it. But I figured I'd do the giveaway for the Alltech landing speaker sorry it took me so long guys but again i did choose one random winner right off of instagram i scrolled through it put my finger down and person i landed on was rolando lopez with two z's so congrats to rolando lopez uh, make sure you shoot me a message on instagram and we'll get in contact from there to see how i can shoot this out for you but don't be discouraged if I didn't choose you guys this time or if you didn't get chosen. I'm going to do multiple different giveaways throughout the year. So make sure you continue to keep following, continue to keep watching, and enter in for more chances for you guys to win some really, really cool stuff. Who knows? Maybe I'll be giving out a pair of headphones here shortly. Hint, hint.